So I've got my weird shaped hat Halloween thingy and got marked our seams out, they look nice. And now let's add in some materials. So first of all we'll grab it and I'll think I'll unwrap it like so. And let's bring in the materials like so and wait what? <laughs> the top one maybe that one will work better so I'll grab it again you unwrap it and let's bring in our materials and welcome everyone it's Neil here from 3d Tudor back today with another part for the series of quick fixes and this time we're gonna look at cylinders and we're gonna look at cones and see why they actually don't unwrap so you can see here, first of all, if I come to my cylinder and I press uh, the tab button, you can see what's happened is it's slightly bent on the UV map. And even if we press Control A, all transforms to reset all our transformations, press the tab button, you unwrap, you'll see we still have the same problem. So how do we fix that? Well, let's come in first of all to face select. Let's grab this top face. I always tend to grab a face near my actual seam. And then what I tend to do is I come to the next one down and press L and then grab everything within the island. Then what you need to do is you need to press U, come down to where it says light map pack, click OK, and then finally press U again, come down then to follow active quads, and then click OK. And the reason I did that was, is that I'm actually following the active quads from this seam. And now you can see it's open really, really beautifully and exactly what you probably want. And we can also, if you see, turn it round. So R90, let's have a look. And there you go, you can see where our seam is, but you can see the actual wood is open perfectly. All right, so now let's come to our cone. Cones are notoriously hard actually to unwrap. So again, if I press tab, come round to the back, you'll see I've actually got a seam on there. And what I need to do is if I press U, you'll see that it just unwraps like this weird way. And you can see how the, uh, the wood is actually warped and things like that. So how do we do that? If we press one to go into front view, press the tab button, press U, come down to where it says cylinder projection, and there you go, voila, open really, really nicely. The only thing you're gonna get is probably some distortion going up here, um, where your cone actually is, and you're gonna get that unless you actually really, really turn up the subdivisions or something like that. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a like. If you wanna support me or see what else I do, then check out the links down below. And as always, happy modeling, everyone.